the template I have put up pretty much tells you almost exactly what you have to do. So let's start with site description. Then we'll go on to project specific matters. So site, site description, you can use any mapping, you can create your own map, but you can just do it in Queensland Globe if you like. So I, as I showed you previously, I showed you um, looking at stuff. Well, there's that site that we looked at. Let's do some site description. So there's our site there. We've put the border of the site. So let's put some things that are maybe um, just useful for just mapping our site. What about some contours? We'll pop some contours on. It takes a bit of time. Let's zoom out a bit so the contours show. It looks pretty flat to me. <laughs> it is. So we'll zoom out a bit. And you can see the contours are shown. And now they're shown up. Sometimes you've got to zoom in back in and back out. And there's a few contours on the site, so that's quite useful. You can even put hill shade, which wouldn't really much point on the site. But if you go into the template, so topography, significant features, map the geology or coastal land, water bodies. Let's pop in and have a look at water bodies. Now, water bodies is pretty much self-explanatory. It's under waterways, or is it? Hmm. Queensland Globe, once you get to know everything, it's you can find stuff, but sometimes it's hidden. Okay, there we go. Springs. You could put springs or wetland areas. Elevation contours. Let's make that smaller so we can find out what we're doing. We can see if there's any springs. It's wetlands. Mm, doesn't seem much. Let's pop in waterways, find where they've hidden it. It's always in the same spelt, Heather. <laughs> Inland waters there. I knew you had got it. I would just put watercourse, okay? And you can see there's a watercourse. It's almost like the headwaters of a watercourse. And that's a good way to just now zoom in a bit to the site there. Move it up a tad. So there is your site. You've popped some contours and you've put some water features. You can also add to the, but this is a good do to do a, a, a general map of your site. Uh, acid sulfate soils I probably would leave on for your mapping for the section further down. So if you go there, even though I've put it there. Site description. You can put geology if you like. Contours and label roads. Now I suggested doing it in Queensland Globe because Queensland Globe has conveniently put contours and labelled all the roads. And then of course as we did earlier we can just print that to a map. If you've forgotten how to do it. And it created the view of Queensland. You can zoom out a bit. I don't like that scale. Make it one in 5,000, which is a more standard scale. I oh, call your map, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it says with legend, which goes on to the next page. And then just go, you can put it, I don't know, maybe you want to put a portrait. But who cares? It doesn't really matter. I don't care what you put it in. And then print it to PDF or JPEG or PNG, whatever it lets you do. Oh, PDF or PNG. Either one is fine. So that is what I would do for my initial map. You can go into your QGIS or your ArcGIS and you can um, do it in that way as well. I don't mind. As long as it's neat and it's well labeled and it's got a legend and I can read it. So there we go.